What's going on guys? Tonight I'm here to show you my latest project that I've been working on. Uh, this all stemmed from a desire to be able to monitor my heart rate while I run. I've always been kind of curious about my heart rate. Um, and I found a heart rate sensor from SparkFun. Here's the sensor. This is a capillary, capillary heart rate sensor. Um, you place it here, anywhere on the skin, and a light shines out here into the skin. The light is then bounced back into this clear spot in the center. It measures the reflectance or the light spectrum that bounces back and dependent upon your uh, heart, whether it is beaten or is about to beat, it changes the color of your blood and therefore the sensor can detect it. So I've assembled this device to monitor the data coming from the sensor. Here's the sensor wire. I'm using a Arduino Mini Pro to compute and process. I'm using a OLED display to show the data. And I'm using buttons and a joystick to interact with the data and menus. I've installed a ISP programming port so that way I can program the Arduino. And it has a port on it right here. I just chose not to use it because I had a Pololu programmer already. And I would have had to buy a programmer from SparkFun in order to program theirs. I took a hot glue and glued the connections in to provide a little bit of stress relief for the wires and for a little bit of uh, security that way that nothing actually messes them up. I've also hot glued the back as you can see where I had all my connections for the programming port and for the joystick and for the buttons that way that nothing messes up those connections. So I can actually show you the operation of the device. Uh, like I said, the sensor attaches to the skin. You just fasten it there. The sensor came with this, which is a little connector I can use to fasten it to my earlobe, which is a very fleshy part that gets good blood flow. So I'll do that now. Uh, this side is the side that faces the skin, so I'm just going to attach that to the earlobe like that. Just like that. I'm currently using a rubber band to hold my battery on. I'm going to probably use Velcro or some, something of that nature later on. But it just connects to these two pins here, just like this. So that's how the device boots up. And you can notice now that the LED is blinking. This indicates my heartbeat. As that blinks, that means my heart has just beaten. And you'll also notice that no data is being displayed right now. That is because I chose not to have the data displayed all the time, only whenever you press the button to save power. So I'll do that now. I'll push the button. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. So right there is my current heart rate.
I can also cycle through a few miscellaneous values. Uh, minimum, maximum, and average are the values I have set up. If I can get this clear up on the screen. Here's my average over the past, I think about 20 seconds would be the correct thing. It's based off iterations is what I base it off of, uh, but it should be about 20 seconds. Uh, there's my maximum value and the minimum value. So the top button shows the data, the bottom button affects the text size. It brings you to a menu where you can change the text size. So right here is the small text, the large text, which is the default size, or the huge text. The huge text adds a little bit of readability to it, and I liked it while I was running. It made it much easier to see. So I can show that now. So right there's the huge. Then right here's, I'll go show you the small. Much smaller. Can't get the screen to zoom in. There we go. Uh, but that's the device. Uh, you can find all these products as I listed below in the information if you want to make one of these yourself. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you very much for watching.